Jim Lee and Will Sportasio were superstars in the early 90s. Both often inked by Scott Williams, they made some of the most exciting X-Men comics of all time. They do have similar styles, but let's see what makes them different and then try to draw something in both of their styles. Okay, so first their trademarks. Jim Lee has the iconic Wolverine poses, Wolverine rips. He also draws beautiful women and draws legs with a single perfect line. Although this booty shot hasn't aged well. Portacio has the screams, long necks, neck muscles, cheekbones, these poses and big explosions. As for my favorite things about them, Jim Lee has perfect anatomy and his fight scenes are so graceful it's almost as if all his characters are ballet dancers. Look at this panel where the weight of Wolverine feels so real. Look how awesome these panels are. I think I see a pattern emerging. My favorite thing about Will's Portacio is his lines. Even when they have the same inker, Will's lines still look so different and so unique. Like on this arm muscle or these action lines. His strength is in his action scenes and his special effects lines. You can almost hear his pages. This is my favorite panel. His wet works also gets an honorable mention because he's one of the only artists who draws anatomically correct abs. Abs that go up all the way to the pecs. Most of the 90s guys drew this weird rib cage that sticks between the pecs and the abs. Another interesting comparison is their layouts. Jim often starts the page out with an action scene and then adds close-ups of faces. He also has a lot of standing poses and group shots. This pose. And this pose. Portacio has the squiggly line borders, or no border, and then this high camera angle. This scene where Iceman's dad refuses to shake his girlfriend's hand is so well done. It's really difficult to show that emotion, but thanks to the borders, it really comes across well. As far as similarities go, they use cross-hatching, super detailed sci-fi tech, both use action lines a lot. Okay, let's practice. So I did a few quick doodles and maybe was thinking about hiding the feet, but in the end decided on this classic running and flying pose. Let's check what they do with body proportions. This is some typical 90s beefcake and cheesecake. As you can see, a real human's head is about one-eighth their body and the crotch is just about in the middle. If you look at Jim and Wills's body proportions, they both are quite similar. So heads are smaller than one-eighth and the crotches are way higher than the halfway mark. So this gives them longer legs, a small head makes characters look better in comics. Most, most comic book artists do this, especially in the 90s. This is an interesting drawing to compare because they both drew Captain America. And as you can see, you can see Jim Lee's anatomy is much more realistic. And somehow Will Spertasio's head here looks super small. But if you measure it, it's still just a little bit less than one eighth. So yeah, I don't really know what it is about this drawing, but yeah. Obviously, Portacio likes to exaggerate body proportions more than Jim Lee does. Okay, so here we go with the Wills Portacio. I made sure to pick a pose where we could see their, both their necks, so I could exaggerate those neck muscles. And I'm using these Portacio drawings as reference. Uh, obviously, I could, I could photobomb or trace, but that's not the point. The point of this is to draw with their style in mind and mostly I just want to learn from these style experiments so become a better artist and see why some artists do something and why it looks different what makes it look different 
What I learned this time around from looking at both their styles is that they like to break up their lines. So for example, this could be this cheekbone is split up in two. And then uh, with the coloring, it'll make it look like a solid block. Okay, let's speed up a little. Coloring, add a two-tone color in the yellow. All right, that's it for Wills. Let's move on to Jim. So yeah, since Jim is known for his beautiful women, um, I had to spend a lot of time on the actual structure of the legs. And he also has this very specific mm, oval. The hip oval is definitely very Jim Lee-ish. So that took a few tries, but I think I got it in the end. Yes, this one. As you can see, it already looks a lot different from Wills Portacio's anatomy. Also spend, I also spend a lot of time on her face because that's also, yeah, one of his trademarks is those beautiful faces. One, one difficult thing about Cyclops was um, the cross hatching. Sometimes the sometimes Jim Lee's cross hatching goes uh, with the curvature of the muscle, but sometimes they're just horizontal lines. And picking when to pick which is kind of tricky. So yeah, this Cyclops was hard. All right, so here you go. Jim and Wills. Jim versus Wills. Studio buddies. Both awesome artists. All right, thank you for watching. Please check my other clips and my Instagram page where I do these style challenges a lot. All right, thank you, bye.